topic of discussion is area movement of inertia for some typical cross section so first solid rectangular cross section so this is a cross section of a column this is b that is the width and h is the height or thickness of the cross section of the column i x x will be equal to b h cube divided by 12 i y y is equal to h b cube divided by 12 so this is the moment of inertia i x x and i y y where b is equal to width and h is equal to thickness or height similarly for solid square cross section here this is the side as h and b is equal since it is a square so i x x equal to i y y equal to b raised to 4 divided by 12 where b is the side for solid circular cross section i x x is equal to i y y is equal to pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 where d is the diameter and for hollow cylindrical cross section where the outer circle of the cylinder have diameter capital D and inner diameter of the cylinder is small d. So i x x is equal to i y y equal to pi into d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 divided by 64 where capital D is the cylinder outside diameter and small d is equal to cylinder inside diameter. So this was area movement of inertia for some typical cross section. Please like, 